Hello YouTube, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to put music on your iPod, any iPod, for free um, without iTunes. So, um, go to your internet browser and we're going to get this uh, program called Copy Trans. And it's uh, definitely virus free. And once you uh, type it into Google, go to this website. And um, this is it right here. So, uh, you can click download and just click free download and you'll get to this and the download should start at the bottom here but I'm just going to discard it because I already have it so once you go through the installation um, follow, yeah, follow it and enjoy so uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how to do this so pretty much once you uh, install it you'll get this program right here called copy trans and uh, control center actually and you're going to open it and uh, once you have it open you'll get this little thing right here so uh, pretty much uh, this is the program we're going to be using and I think all the other ones cost money so uh, this is the only free one so if you want to you can create a shortcut and it'll just create one right on your desktop and there we go um, and you can do it for all these so you can pr now you can open it so double click on it and it should open and now we can just click to this and here we go so this is uh, what it looks like when you open it and you can watch the play demo video or whatever it's called and now we can just use copy alright so now we can plug in the iPod so I'm gonna plug in my iPod right now so let's see here and in it goes and there we go now it is plugged in let's see here there's gonna be an auto play that comes up and well here it is anyways so and there's the auto play so here we have it the basic format of it so um, adding a song is pretty simple and when I first got it, I was a little confused but pretty much up here you can have more than one plugged in and uh, you can uh, scroll through them and then that's the eject button obviously so adding a song you come over here to this plus sign and you click that and we come down and you search for whatever song so um, I'm gonna go to uh, my thing and my music and I'm gonna find a song so let's say I wanted to do like crazy or something but actually I'm just gonna take one of let's see here I'm gonna take one of these songs that I already had open okay so now that songs gonna be shown up on here right there talking to the moon so um that song's not actually on my iPod yet. So, pretty much for it to go on your iPod, you need to click update up here. So, updating it. There we go. Now it's now my iPod's syncing even though you can't see it it really is. And you can press stop if you want to, but um I wouldn't. So, now it's on my iPod. Now I'm going to play it for you because just to show you proof and one second says updating library. And as you can see, obviously it's still plugged in. So let's see here. Here we go. So talking to the moon, here it is. And I don't know if you can hear that, but you probably can. There it is, and it's on my iPod. Alright, so now that you have proof, um, that's how you put it on there. Now you can also add new playlists. So if I want a new playlist, just right click, I mean, uh, yeah, right click over here and press add playlist. Name it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to name it, let's see here, um, best songs uh, 2011. And if I wanted to, um, you can rename it if you want. And I'm going to make this capital. And as you can see, there's nothing in here. So to add a song to this playlist, you press plus and find the song you want to add. Um, let's see here, our first time. I'll put that one in there. Now here it is. It's in there. Press update, and it will be on my iPod, and now it's updating, as you can see. Now you can also uh, change the information on it. So I can just say, like, composer or whatever. I can just change all this, and yep. Yeah. So, and then once you're done, like comments, uh, whatever, and then you just press check mark at the bottom, and there you go. 
and I'm just going to get rid of this. Boom. And check. All right. So um, that's pretty much the basics. This also, this player um, has a, like, it actually plays songs. So if I wanted to play this song, let's see. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. Um, I can play any song. And it'll start playing. It'll start playing, and pretty much you can add songs to the thing or whatever and shuffle through them. Um, that's pretty much the basic stuff. Um, you can look through them up here too, and it'll bring up the song that by artist. And also, if you want to change something, change the information, you can just click up there too. So if I go down to here, let's see here, click on that, click up here, and I can change it also. And then searching for a song is pretty easy. So just same thing as all the other stuff. And it, it'll come up. So and then once you're done, you can just press eject. And yes, now it's going to sync real fast. And then it will. And then now I'm done and it doesn't show my iPod in there. And there's settings over here. I would just not mess with them, but you can. Um, I don't really care. And as you can see, it says free edition. So... Um, thanks for watching. Um, uh, please subscribe, please comment, please like, whatever you need. Thank you.